Imagine a world where a single man, rising from the depths of poverty and obscurity, reshapes history to command the largest empire ever seen. This man is none other than Genghis Khan, a name that echoes through the annals of history, synonymous with power, conquest, and vastness. From the unforgiving steppes of Mongolia, he emerged to rule an empire that stretched from the Pacific Ocean to Eastern Europe. Today, we unravel the life of the world's greatest conqueror, Genghis Khan. Born as Temujin in 1162, in the heart of Mongolia, our story begins. In the harsh, rugged steppes, Temujin's life was shaped by the nomadic traditions of his tribe. But life was never easy. His father, a tribal chieftain, was poisoned when Temujin was just nine years old. This tragic event sent shockwaves through his young life, propelling him into a world of hardship and struggle. Without the protection of his father, Temujin and his family were cast aside, considered pariahs by their own people. Survival in the unforgiving Mongolian landscape became a daily battle, a battle that Temujin was determined to win. His spirit remained unbroken even when he was captured and enslaved by a rival tribe. It was this resilience, this strength of character, that would form the foundation of his future greatness. From these humble beginnings, Temujin would rise to become Genghis Khan, the ruler of the Mongol Empire. Emerging from slavery, Temujin began to amass power. This was not through mere chance or luck, but a calculated series of alliances, battles, and decisions that would shape the course of history. Temujin, known to us today as Genghis Khan, was a man of strategic brilliance, and it was this quality that set him on his path to greatness. To understand his rise, we must first look at his alliances. Temujin was shrewd, understanding that alliances were not just about numbers, but about loyalty and trust. He formed alliances based on mutual respect and shared goals, rather than mere convenience or short-term gain. This approach meant that his allies were loyal, willing to fight for him when the time came. Then there was his military innovation. Temujin was not content with traditional methods of warfare. He studied his enemies, and instead of trying to match their strengths, he exploited their weaknesses. He employed the use of psychological warfare, surprise attacks, and a highly mobile cavalry. But perhaps his greatest innovation was his meritocracy. In a time when leadership was often determined by birthright, Temujin promoted based on merit ensuring his leaders were the best men for the job, not simply the most privileged. The culmination of these strategies was the unification of the Mongol tribes. Temujin's vision of a unified Mongolia was not universally accepted. It required many battles, many sacrifices, and many difficult decisions. But through his strategic alliances, his innovative tactics, and his ability to inspire loyalty in his men, he achieved his goal. The disparate tribes of Mongolia, once at odds, were brought together under one banner, one leader. And so, with the unification of the Mongol tribes, Temujin took a new title. He was no longer merely Temujin, but Genghis Khan, the universal ruler. This was not an empty title, but a testament to his power, his leadership, and his extraordinary journey from slave to the leader of a unified Mongolia. His rise was not only a personal triumph, but a pivotal moment in history that would shape the world for centuries to come. With the unification of the Mongol tribes, Temujin took the title Genghis Khan, the Universal Ruler. From the steppes of Mongolia, Genghis Khan's empire expanded at an unprecedented rate. This was an empire built not on stone and mortar, but on horseback and arrow, on courage and cunning. The Mongol Empire, under the unyielding hand of Genghis Khan, became one of the most formidable and expansive empires in all of human history. Genghis Khan was not only a fearsome warrior, but also a strategist of the highest order. He orchestrated his conquests with a shrewd understanding of his enemy's weaknesses, exploiting them to his advantage. From the defeat of the Naiman in Mongolia to the subjugation of the Jin dynasty in China, and the sacking of the Khwarezmid Empire in Persia, the Mongol Empire's reach was vast and relentless. Yet, the expansion of the Mongol Empire was not solely a tale of bloodshed and domination. Indeed, the brutality of Genghis Khan's conquests is well documented. 
but so too are the administrative and cultural exchanges that took place under his reign. Genghis Khan implemented a system of law known as the Yasa, which provided a sense of order and unity within his diverse empire. He established a postal system that spanned the breadth of his territories, facilitating communication and trade. Culturally, the Mongol Empire became a melting pot of traditions and knowledge. Under Genghis Khan's rule, there was a genuine respect for the arts, education, and intellectual pursuits. His empire became a conduit for cultural exchange, connecting the East and West like never before. Genghis Khan's reign marked a period of immense change, a fusion of cultures, and a reshaping of the world as it was known then. His empire was not merely a collection of conquered lands, but a vast network of integrated societies, each contributing to the singular vision of a man from the Mongolian steppes. At the time of his death in 1227, Genghis Khan's empire spanned from the Pacific Ocean to Eastern Europe, an empire unparalleled in history, a testament to the might of one man's ambition and a legacy that continues to echo through the ages. Genghis Khan, the man, the myth, the legend left an indelible mark on the world. The legacy of Genghis Khan is as vast and diverse as the empire he carved out. His descendants continued to expand and rule the Mongol Empire, from the Golden Horde in Russia to the Yuan Dynasty in China for many generations. The Mongol Empire's political and military strategies were adopted by successive empires, shaping the geopolitical landscape of Eurasia. Beyond the borders of his empire, Genghis Khan's influence permeated deeper into the very fabric of human genetics. A groundbreaking study in the year 2003 found that about one in 200 men alive today are direct descendants of Genghis Khan, an astonishing testament to his genetic legacy. Culturally, Genghis Khan's impact is seen in everything from the Silk Road's revitalization, fostering trade and cultural exchange, to his portrayal in popular media. He's often viewed with a mix of awe and fear, a brutal conqueror and a brilliant strategist. Don't forget to hit that like button to show your support. If you enjoy this journey through history, subscribe to our channel for more fascinating tales and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our next adventure into the past.